So it's March 8th, I believe, and um, these little guys were coming up through the top of the Wari Hive through this burlap. I guess they were able to puncture a few little holes in it. Um, there's some coming in uh, through the front entrance, but it's particularly warm today, and so they're, they're looking for a flight. And um, not sure if it's the best thing to do, but I decided just to peel back a little bit of this quilt layer and, uh, and kind of let them come and go. The bees will actually fill these little holes up with uh, with propolis, and, um, and and that way they can actually uh, regulate the um, internal environment of the hive, humidity, temperature, so that the airflow um, via that on their own, which is different than a conventional hive. Um, what I did sort of on the go was um, cut a little hole in that burlap layer there and uh, just make a little temporary entrance. I think what I'll do next winter is I'll probably, uh, well I probably will try something else besides burlap. I might try like a, a little wire screen which uh, has small enough holes that they can fill up. Um, but I'll probably also in addition just give them a, give them an entrance at the top. So these ladies must be very happy to be out. I'm just gonna, they're all gonna land on me now. There we go. And you can see here all these little yellow spots. This is all bee poop, and so that's what they're doing right now. There are some busy March bees. Coming out, doing their thing, defecating all over the place, little winter cleansing, and um, they'll head back in there for the another month and a half, and it should be spring. So little ladies get a late winter, late winter break.